Well, my first find with the uh, with the, the Sorrel Clean Sweep Coil is a uh, almost near the surface penny. Looks like it might be copper. Looks like I might have a surface find here. I'm running uh, the Outlaw in all metal like they suggest. And it's just a penny. And all metal like they suggest. And then I'm just confirming any hit I get with discrimination. Working with the Outlaw today. Uh, let's see. This one is being red when I turn the discrimination up as a zinc. <laughs> well, it's not a zinc. It looks to be some kind of badge. Don't know. AUS Classic. <laughs> Keep looking. Well, I should have made that one a live dig. It was reading around the nickel category, but I've been dealing up, digging up so many pull tabs by design that I decided I would do this one without uh, without uh, doing a live dig. But so it's a nickel. Well, this is pretty deep hole. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It's a, yep, eating up zinc. So, no big eater. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it looked disturbingly like another crusty zinc. Well, this looks to be another crusty zinc, so I'm really wiping the zincs out today. And we got another was reading is a zinc and that's what it is well moving slightly up in the world looks like i found a quarter right underneath the tree this is where they put all their bags after they let it go in so there's always a lot of weird <laughs> I didn't record this one because it uh, it read as a penny and I forget it would be. This feels like a zinc penny. This park had everything going for it. It was an athletic park. There were people out there playing different kind of games and nothing is there. I'm back at my old park and I get a quarter in 45 seconds. Man, I don't know what's going on, but I'll take it. I got another high signal right here at my old faithful park. <clears throat> See what I got. What that is, it almost looks like a, <laughs> almost looks like a rock, but it's metal. Yeah, I just wanted to note this. If you're in a in a park or anywhere else where you see uh, this kind of weed compared to the rest of the park, chances are it's an area 
a watering or something and there's a good chance there might be pipes or something underneath it so if you get a signal there don't automatically dig check the dimensions and make sure that it's actually a target and not just some um, faulty plumbing or faulty irrigation systems well, i gotta revert back to the camera on my phone it looks like looks like i got a good signal here one of very few today Nah. Looks like this. Look at can. Thought it pinpointed a little bit large. <laughs> so just a can. More garbage to throw in the trash. Not many good signals of any kind. My second one of these buckles. I have no idea what it is, but they always read very high. Hmm. Really weird. Hmm. Well, I uh, checked this one, and it's a dime. It almost red as a zinc. Let me take another look in here, see if there's anything else. This is Texas Tiger Digs again, and this was an unusual day of detecting. It was quite long, and only moderately, tolerably competent, not extraordinarily successful. But, uh, you know, this is going to be my 100th video, and I really went out there and tried my best to find something to celebrate that achievement and I was not that successful but I guess this is perfect for my 100th video because it basically describes suburban detecting you know that's what you see in my title page uh, the detecting that most of us do suburban and urban is what gamblers and uh, what uh, People who depend on uh, percentages called grinding. Grinding means you you just keep going at it. You're you're asking for the odds and the laws of probability to give you an eventual success. And I've had my eventual success: uh, three rings, one gold field necklace. Uh, yeah, it's gold. It's gonna it's got some gold in it, so I'll, you know. I'll I'll take that I'll take that as a uh, as a minor mark in my ledger book. Very minor. Uh but uh I went out today, uh trying my best to dig up as much as I could and hopefully find something interesting uh for my one hundredth video. This is actually my one hundred and first video, but my one of my videos that consisted of me talking and a detector buzzing must have caused a copyright violation or some violation of uh, of YouTube policy that put it in sort of a limbo. Then rather than just let it sit there in a limbo, I just dumped it. And any of us who've been doing uh, videos on YouTube for any length of time, even though mine has been relatively short, has run into some oddball things like that. And of course I put it up and it says, okay, I appeal this, but the appeal uh, might take longer than the Supreme Court takes to get around to a case. So I just said to heck with it and dumped it. So this will be my actually 101st video with my 100th video back count. Assuming that I don't uh, strike a, uh, a note in my voice that sounds like an old Bee Gees hit. In any case, uh, I went out today to... Uh, altogether, it was uh, actually... It was one park. 
uh, the park that I call the old park. I went out initially with the outlaw. One of my uh, subscribers mentioned that uh, he had a great deal of success with the outlaw. And I could believe it because I've had good success with the outlaw. Uh, so I went out with the outlaw and I took the uh, the dais uh, as a backup. And uh, and I went out with the outlaw and I got you know the lion's share of this coin, these coins. Uh, and then I went out uh, a second time. I went out with the dais. The dais got a few coins, a few pennies, and you know, etc. And then I ended the day by going back out with the uh, outlaw. So it's outlaw dais outlaw sandwich. I went out with the outlaw then, and then I I got uh, a dime or a penny more or something like that, and uh, that was about the the content of the day. Uh, I love the the outlaw, and it's it's a great machine. And uh, I got a couple of these weird buckles. I don't know what they are. Uh, you know, it's on an athletic field, so I assume they're athletic related. Uh, I was <laughs> I was uh, thinking about uh, when I found those about uh, uh, NQ explorers when they find things like this, and you know, they're actually in, in on army bases, and it's it's usually uh, some rigging for some military. Uh, a piece of nothing. I, there's nothing military in my area, so I know these have a, have a very mundane civilian purpose. So uh, uh, I got that. I got this all oh, AUS classic. Uh, I guess it's probably soccer related, like most of the things in this field. Uh, so no no biggie here. And I was doing what I was doing before. So I was doing all signals. Uh, this was a surface uh, Coca-Cola cap. I just picked it up because as long as I'm out there, I might as well clean the park up. I don't know what this is. It rang up very high. Uh, and uh, these were all mysteries out here. Uh, and uh, they look like rocks. And I don't know what this looks like a block of metal. And I pull tabs, uh, foil, uh, foil, foil, more pull tabs, uh, one rusty nail. You know, like I said, I'm still out there looking for... Uh, gold and it requires that I dig up trash so and that was basically the way my day went and like I said uh, I was grinding and uh, and that's a very industrious way of doing things and it usually leads to some, some success that it's not always on a time schedule it's not always frequent but it'll come so uh, all of you other people out there who are uh, who are in suburban or urban areas, who are not dealing with relics, etc., who are dealing with just the, the, the flotsam and jetsam of modern life, and hopefully a treasure or two in that sea of flotsam and jetsam, uh, go out there and, like I said, keep grinding. And, and this was fun, and I got a lot of exercise. Uh, you, know, if you can probably see my stomach on the, uh, on the video. It, it was, uh, you know, uh, a little bigger than that before I started detecting. Uh, so I've, I've got no complaints about uh, the, the, uh, the effect that uh, detecting has had on my uh, health and well-being. And it's a lot of fun. And uh, I like interacting with the people in the parks. I didn't think when I started I would, but they're, they're nice. They, they're and they they are interested and um, you know and sometimes they just treat me like the the crazy guy with the detector over in the corner I like that too just don't bother me I'm fine uh, but if you do bother me and say hello that's okay that's cool anyway that's all I've got uh, I'm probably not going to be making a video for a while because uh, I will be in class and working all week I'm going to try to get out and do a little detecting try to hit a few new parks and I might be going into a new area, new jurisdiction. So it's gonna see. I'm gonna see how the law is gonna work there. I know how the rules are written, but the rules and the application of the rules are two different things. In any case, this is Texas Tiger Diggs, and once again, over talking. And I will uh, talk to you later, and I'll see you at the next hunt or at the next dig.